Welcome back. My name is Tanner. If you're new here, I'm your typical CPA who's striving to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle as an accountant. In this video right here, I'm going to discuss one of the best kept secret pieces of workout equipment out there, according to one of the arguably fittest men on earth, Matt Frazier, five times CrossFit Games champion. Frazier has started to reveal secrets of his training after his retirement from CrossFit. On a recent video on his YouTube channel, he walked through a gym tour with all of his equipment and revealed an odd looking piece of equipment that many are scrambling to get their hands on. Now, how valuable did Frazier see this tool? I have never allowed it to go on camera because I thought it was a super valuable tool that I wanted to keep a secret. This piece of equipment that Matt talks about is the Fitty Hand and Forearm Trainer, which is a spinning muscle trainer that works as in the title, your grip and your forearms. So in this video right here, I'm gonna explain to you what this piece of equipment is, workouts you can perform with it, where you can buy it, how much it costs, and finally, if you should buy it yourself. So, let's go! So, what exactly is this spinny thing? This is the Fitty Multifunctional and Forearm Trainer, which is a spinning muscle trainer that works your grip, forearms, and your shoulders. This arm trainer has 360 degree rotating grips for your cardio aerobic conditioning and toning your arm muscles. It is made to replicate punching movements a boxer makes when using a speed bag. It's also made for weightlifters and martial artists who use their upper body a lot as it provides a unique workout. This piece of equipment is supposed to come in three sizes, a six, eight, and a 12 pounder. This was Matt Frazier's recommendation when it came to choosing the appropriate weight. I think I have a 12 pounder because I thought, I think there was an eight, a 10, and a 12 pounder option. And I thought heavier was better, but I definitely, if I were to do it again, would get the 10 pounder or eight pounder. Taking his recommendation, I bought the eight pounder, which I think works perfectly. There are then two different color options for this piece of equipment, the silver, which Matt Frazier owns, or the black one, which is the one I bought. I personally want the black option as I think it looks more slick but I will admit, it does show sweaty fingerprints quite easily on the metal. So, be mindful of that when choosing between the two. Now, what are a few good workouts you can do with this Fitty Arm Trainer? There is no shortage of workouts you can do with this piece of equipment. It's very small and for the most part, pretty lightweight. So it can be kept just about anywhere in your home or it can be taken with you on the go. For me personally, when I'm not using my home gym in my basement, I keep it in my home office to use periodically throughout my work days when working from home. I took a page out of Matt Frazier's playbook for a short and spicy workout with it. Like the workouts I do on that are super easy. I'll do like 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for 10 rounds. And by round three, I'm having to like take breaks part way through. Like it burns up your shoulders. So for myself, these middle of the day workouts are usually just as simple as what he just outlined. I've set in a 30 second round timer for five to 10 minutes and I'll do 30 seconds on of using it and then take 30 seconds off for a break. I like this as a nice mental break during the day. It's an excuse to get my eyes away from any screens. That's what makes this equipment so nice is that it's so small and you can have it just about anywhere. One thing that I really do like about this equipment is that it's so low impact on the upper body. With that, I like to incorporate it with my low impact active recovery cardio workouts on the Concept 2 Bike Erg. Again, it's a simple workout of doing rounds of 10, 20, or 30 minutes with two minutes on the bike erg, followed by 30 seconds when using the Fitty Arm Trainer. I'm always a fan of active recovery workouts to help with muscle recovery. So I just take my two favorite low impact movements of the bike erg and this piece of equipment and I'm all set to go. You can use this spinning arm trainer above your head, out in front of you, or while bent over to work different parts of your arms or your shoulders, which you can change up in various rounds during your workout. An important thing to know with this piece of equipment is that it works best with time interval workouts. So this arm trainer doesn't have a calorie or a meter counter. Now the next most important question is where do you buy one of these bad boys? Probably the easiest and most common place people can buy these are from Amazon. I left a link down in my description below if you're interested in buying one yourself. The next most common question is how much do one of these cost? It will depend on the weight you choose, but the average cost is between $125 to $140. This might seem like a lot, but if you were looking for the most comparable piece of equipment such as the speed punching bag, then a quality one would likely run you between $150 to $200. Meanwhile, you can't take one of these speed punching bags easily with you on the go, and I'm guessing it's not quite as durable. So I believe this price point is quite reasonable given the purposes designed to serve and the price point of comparable products out there. Now, my final thoughts on the product and whether I'd recommend if you buy one. Depending on your goals, I believe this product could be a great addition to your training. Where a majority of the cardiovascular training required in CrossFit or obstacle course racing is leg or quad dominant, I was interested in something I could train my upper body conditioning too, with low impact. Yes, you do get some of that from the Concept 2 Rower or the Rogue Echo Bike like I had behind me but it doesn't quite work your grip training and conditioning for those grip intensive workouts or obstacle course races. Plus, one of the fittest men on earth right now, Matt Frazier, has been purposely keeping this piece of equipment a secret for three to four years because he thought it was such a valuable tool in his training. That should say something from a person that has dedicated his life to fitness. Now, if your goals right now are just to be more active or to live a healthier life, 
then this would not be one of the first pieces of equipment I would recommend you buy. It makes for a great accessory piece of equipment if you're looking to increase your cardioaerobic conditioning in your upper body, but there are steps you should take in your life first if you're just now starting your fitness journey. There you have it. That is my review of the Fitty Hand and Forearm Trainer. But if you have questions on this product, please leave them in the comments down below and I'd be happy to answer and share my thoughts. To end here, if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing and hit that like button. If you want to be sure you catch my next video, please sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. Otherwise, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.